the National Council of Churches of Kenya, NCCK, has expressed concern over the 2023-2024 national budget, saying contrary to expectations, it does not explicitly present strategies to deliver Kenyans from the suffocating high cost of living. Addressing the press on the state of the nation, the NCCK Executive Committee said it had reviewed the budget proposals and is of the view that they are likely to make the lives of Kenyans worse. The Council of Churches has urged the government to give the media the free hand to expose impunity and corruption in public offices. Here is Joy Gatwiri with that report. The umbrella body of Christian Churches of Kenya NCCK in a press conference at its Jumuiya conference and country home in Limuru said its executive committee had reviewed the recently read 2023-2024 national budget and was dissatisfied with its proposals to cushion Kenyans from the high cost of living. The NCCK Secretary General said the proposals are more likely to make the lives of Kenyans even worse. This is unfortunate as it means that the country intends to live beyond its means by borrowing locally and internationally without clear strategies on how the funds to repay the loans will be raised. Our sincere expectation was that the government would cut down on expenditure to match the income. And while urging the government to cut down on its expenditure, NCCK pointed out that the projected revenue collection was less than what the government was planning to spend. We do note that the projected expenditure of 3.7 trillion does not include debt servicing, which is currently estimated to require upwards of 1.63 trillion per year. This implies that the country will, will have only 970 billion Kenya shillings to finance everything else. The Council of Churches has now reiterated calls for the government to engage the people in a genuine public discourse on debt management and taxation. They called for support for organizations tasked with ensuring food security in the country. We reiterate our call for the government to engage the people of Kenya in genuine public conversation on debt management and, con and taxation. We are making every effort to support food security by promoting conservation agriculture in all parts of the country and urge the government and other partners to join us. Let us work to ensure that every Kenyan is food secure and no one sleeps hungry. The church leaders further reiterated that the Shakahola massacre could have been prevented and laid the blame squarely on the government for not taking action despite receiving complaints about the cult's activities which have claimed more than 300 bodies so far with 600 of the cult members said to be missing as of yesterday. The church leaders are also accusing the government of using the Shakahola incident to regulate churches and religion in the country as a whole. The NCCK is extremely concerned that the government seems determined to use the unfortunate Shakahora incident as an excuse to control the practice of religious freedom in the country. While we condemn the loss of lives occasioned by the activities of the Good News Church, we find that this was criminal action that was wholly facilitated by failure of the criminal justice system to deliver on its mandate. Reporting for Hope TV News Watch, I'm Melissa Odor.